take from Kashmir, India. There is a very popular video game known as PUBG, P-U-B-G, that is spreading all over the world. And it has nowadays become an addiction to all people, that everyone plays it continuously every day. <laughs> everyone plays it continuously every day. MashaAllah. Recently, the new updated version of this video game came out in which a person has to glorify idols in the game to gain weapons and power. Is it haram or shirk to play this kind of game or is it okay if any Muslim plays this kind of game in which we have to glorify idols? A similar question is posed by Abdullah from New Jersey, USA. Is it permissible to play video games? I would first answer the second question and then answer the first question. As far as video games are concerned, there is a revolution in the past few years and past few decades. I remember when I was a teenager, maybe about 35 years back, there were video game parlors where we had to pay some money and we could for a few minutes maybe drive a car. So those sort of video games which were there 30-35 years back, not that I was a fan of video games, but I did play a few times in my life. So those are games which is for entertainment and I feel there is no problem at all. But in the passage of time, today we find that there is a revolution and there's a lot of changes that have come. And when you read articles about the video games, unfortunately, most of these video games, they are haram. The reason is that many of these video games, they are mixed with elements which are prohibited in Islam. I'll give you a few examples. For example, there are video games which in which there are a lot of killing. And the more number of people you kill, the more marks you get and you become a winner. Some of the killings are unnecessary, it's murder. And murder in Islam, killing any innocent human being is the second major sin in Islam. There are some video games which glorify witchcraft, which is the third major sin in Islam. There are some video games which are attacking Islam. And the video game says that if you bomb Makkah, then you get 1000 points. If you bomb Medina, then you get 500 points. And there are some games which show that there is a non-Muslim country fighting with a Muslim country and the Muslim country is normally the weaker country and if you defeat the Muslim country, you win the game. So these sorts of games which are belittling Islam and are criticizing Islam and against the prince of Islam, all these are haram. There are many video games in which there is nudity. Today, if you have most of the car racing game, I am told and read articles, in between you will find ladies coming which are not properly dressed. They come in bikini, they come in scantily dressed clothes, bodies most seen, all this is haram. There is nudity, there is obscenity. Even in sports you find obscenity. Invariably not there just to make the game more popular. You have games in which there is gambling. You have games in which there's drinking of alcohol. So all these things are haram. Even though you may not be drinking yourself physically, but virtually, if it's involving a haram activity, that game is haram. It takes the children away from Islam. And unfortunately, unfortunately, there are many Muslim parents who willingly buy such games for the children. They don't scrutinize whether the game is right or wrong. Oh, they say, oh, bachcha hai, kid hai, what's the problem? He's not drinking. What's the problem? He's not killing anyone. That's just in a game. These parents are actually taking the children away from Islam. They are ruining their life. If anyone will be held responsible, it's not the child, it's the parents. And today, if they want to get rid of the child or they want to keep the child quiet, they give them the mobile phone. So that, you know, the child is busy with the mobile phone and the parents can do what they want, they can do, they can do their work on the social media. And what's happening? They give mobile phone to a small child of four years, five years, happy, my child can operate the mobile. You are ruining your child. What is so great in handling a mobile? When he grows up and requires, he easily know how to use it. Why give a mobile phone to a child and let him play this video game, most of which are haram? So, if you analyze today's video games, majority, they are involved. Most of them have got music. The music is haram in Islam. 
they have got such sound effects. So most of these games, if you analyze and if you scrutinize, majority, maybe more than 80 percent, more than 90 percent, or maybe a, a larger number. I haven't done a survey, but but reading the reports, they will lead to haram activities directly or indirectly. So such games surely should be prohibited, and you should try and keep your children away from them. As far as the first question was posed regarding a game called PUBG, PUBG, the full form of PUBG is Player Unknown Battleground. Many people who play the game may not be knowing the full form. Anyway, I don't play this game. I just did a, because of the news that for the last couple of weeks, a lot of news has been coming regarding this PUBG. So I just went and checked up the background. This game is one of the most popular games in the world today. It was launched in March 2017, more than three years back, the trial version. And the full version was launched in December 2017, about two and a half years back. And by the end of 2019, it had the maximum sale. It sold, till now, it has sold more than 60 million games. And only on the mobile, there are 600 million downloads. 600 million downloads. That means somewhere close to 8% of the world have downloaded it. And among the children, it would be somewhere close to more than one third of the children have one third or close to it have downloaded this. And in this game, this game mainly involves killing. The more you kill, the more points you get. And you have to save yourself. And if you are the last person alive, you are the winner. This game can be played solo by one person, can be played up to 100 people. You can play alone, you can play with your friends, you can play online, you can even play in groups of two, three or four. Then if your group survives, your group is the winner. It's an addiction. And many of these video games, including this PUBG, it takes a person away from Islam, there are haram acts. Besides that, besides that, if it is a time for salah, when the prayer call is there for azan, the child continues, okay, no problem, and he misses the salah. And there may be chances that if he doesn't miss, he will pray at the last moment when the salah is just going to get kaza. Just before the time for the next salah, he prays the previous salah. So all these things take the person away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This addiction is not only causing problem to Muslim children, even to non-Muslim children. So much so that there are programs that have been created for de-addiction of PUBG. But the question mainly is talking about the latest version of PUBG was launched on the 28th of April 2020. About one and a half month ago. And in this new version, a person has to glorify idols or literally do idol worship in order to get weapons or get equipment which will help them to kill other people. So this is going to the highest level of shirk. Murder is the second major sin in Islam. Shirk is the major sin in Islam. So of course it's totally haram. Besides the other aspect of murder, of music, of nudity, etc. Idol worship is the major sin. It is promoting idol worship. So surely we should see to it that the parents are very strict. They should not only not give PUBG, should not give video.